morning. It is uh, 9.27 a.m. And we're getting ready to watch the Nintendo or the Pokemon Direct for today. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do in this this year is try to do more event things like this and like so you can get my two cents on it and then that sort of thing so that those can go up onto the youtube channel and all and whatnot um roughly 20 minutes of new pokemon info okay see what the chat over here is saying they're just hype cool so I think we'll get more about Pokemon, like, sleep and home. Maybe not sleep, maybe just home, because that's going to be, like, the big one. Um, we should start getting, like, not probably not with this one, but soon start getting word about the what the next game is going to be for 2020, because they release one every year, so it's got to be something coming out. Um, I would love a Diamond and Pearl remake. I would also love a... Switch port of Gale of Darkness and Colosseum. So, you know, here's hoping. Oh, I got, I forgot to launch my, there you go. But yeah, it, um, so who knows what it's going to be. Zach, what's up? I don't know. But I'll know about... <laughs> Fuck it, I'm driving. Who cares? I'll die, but I'll know about Pokemon. Remake Mystery... I would love a new Mystery Dungeon. Hey, that's the alarm for 1030. Welcome to the Pokemon, Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm, from the Pokemon Company. I'm turning him up. Broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Let's get started with the first topic. Have a look at the following footage. Following footage, okay. Let me change the scenes. 2006, uh-oh. It's a mystery dungeon? What's a mystery dungeon? You did it, Zach, you did it. You did the thing. Congratulations, this is mystery dungeon red? The one that was on the GBA. Oh my God, it's so cute and like, it's like, Watercolors. <laughs> Called it. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Rescue, Rescue Team, Team DX. DX. XD Gale of Darkness. Here we come. I love a new Mystery Dungeon. That's great. I'm gonna play the shit out of this. <laughs> like realistically. I really liked Mystery Dungeon, so this is good. And now we get all like the Pokemon Mystery that was, Dungeon. Oh Rescue man. Team awesome. DX. There's not two of them this time for no reason. It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team. Yeah, Blue was the DS was one for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. <laughs> but now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Okay, so it's that Pokemon game. Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. Okay, okay. Dude, the, the manga that goes, the prequel manga to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Demo version later! I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> it carries over to the full full version of the game. To get a sample of the fun. Now, for the other topic... I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Game Freak? Uh-oh. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. I got Cubone last time I did a personality test on that. It hurt me inside. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Omori, also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entry yeah, of the fun. Pokemon series. Pokemon Check out our Nuzhawk. Pokemon Shield since their release last November. <laughs> our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. Yeah. 
and the Galar region is a vast one. But the Ori region. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion yeah. Pass. Downloadable expansions for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games. Yeah. Such as Black Pokemon 2 and White Platinum 2. Version or Pokemon Ar okay, Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Get all the way back to Crystal. This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. The Nuzlocke never ends. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage. Unless it ends. So you'll be able to at least get a feeling footage. What new experiences await you? What new experiences await me? It better be some Pokemon. <laughs> Please have a look. Are we back on the train? This is all old footage. That was okay. Yep. Those were Pokemon that were not in the game that they just they just gave us a glimpse at. I thought 100% that's all it's going to be. Oh, I love this fucking art style. It ends when I accidentally get the whole Galera and Slowpoke and Slowbro. Good new gyms, new outfits and hairstyles. You can sick gee. Okay, we're adding clothes. Dress up for your Pokemon, Barbie. Okay, we got new gyms. We got a whole new batch of gym leaders. Hey, look at those two guys. Oh, oh, look at them. Okay, are you showing me the... Oh, they're getting... They're getting big, big boy forms. Which they should have started with. The Isle of Armor. It's like the Orange Islands. Back in, back in Kanto. Oh, we're continuing. There's another bit here. That part I wasn't expecting. I was expecting the one. Look at him. He's so fucking happy. Yeah, we're getting the Reggies. New Reggie. New Reggies. Stop. Stop it. Get out of here, slow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six sunglasses. Oh, we got new versions of the birds. Like, what is happening with those? Oh, my, it's too early for this. The Crown Tundra. Are they gonna be... Okay, I was gonna say, are they exclusive one to sword and one to shield? Because that'd be some shit. <laughs> what? Trolled right into... Who are you? Angry fighty man? Look at that stance! What is Goku doing in this game? Okay, what is that? What is that? Are we getting our legend, our, our regional legendary? Is it this fucking deer? 
Answer my questions. What did you think of this first look? The Pokemon Sword <laughs> Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor. Casey will be happy. June. June 2020. And the Crown Tundra. Plan to be released November. in 2020. Let's be real. If you buy the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Kinda gotta spend 50 more dollars on Pokemon. Each part offers a different adventure. <laughs> where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. Okay. There two versions of the expansion pass. Why? One for Pokemon Sword oh. and one for Pokemon Shield. Different Pokemon will appear in the different versions. Okay. And you'll also run into some different... Casey, we're places. back on that grind. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. <laughs> Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We're like halfway through this, Mr. this uh, announcement video thing. We're just going into detail. I saw Psyduck and Golduck back there. Hello, I'm Tani from Game Freak. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. The Isle of Armor I mean, looks and the Tundra good. are in I like more Pokemon, Pokemon being added. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Excellent. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the growth. Of growth. <laughs> Sagains, bro. <laughs> The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shore. Yeah, like battle towers. There's a there's a whale lord back there. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. Mm-hmm. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. Okay. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's also Why? the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. Why yeah, is his name Mustard? Mustard. Has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. Because he likes yellow? He also encounter new rivals He's barely wearing yellow. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. When playing with the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type user. Okay. They're both training hard so they can someday have a Look at that. Stadium Look at those around. socks and the frilly. Oh my goodness. There's so much going on with those two characters. Legendary Pokémon that will be central to the story. That's it. Pokémon that to become stronger. <laughs> what Kung Fu Panda shit is this? As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokémon. Can he stop that? <laughs> Once you complete your training together with this is, a, this is a friendly stream. Evolve into Urshifu. <laughs> Urshifu is a Pokemon. Why? With two distinct what is styles. going on here? There is single strike style, a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There is also rapid strike style, a fighting okay. and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. So do you get to pick? What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. So we got a Kung Fu Bear, Each style will have is what you're telling me. As well as a different G-Max move. You'll be able to evolve your Kung Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles. Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Style during your adventure. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability. And it also has a new move for each of its two styles. New abilities? Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. That's what I need. To get stomped by people with perfect also IVs. Want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon. Final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing their new forms and new G-Max moves. And as you can see here, uh -oh. we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as Move tutor, apricorns, exp charm. There are new fashion items. Better bags. Be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Sick road on bikes. We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of What Island. else is being announced today? There's five minutes left. 
They gotta end one more thing, us. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra. The second area. Are we gonna burn it all here on the expansion pass for Sword and Shield? I'm going to show you the information we have. I mean, we did get a mystery dungeon this announcement, but still, realm I'd like one more realm. thing. Take a look for yourself. I'm greedy. The beautiful scenery of this shining silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting. Look at these! I want these fucking prints. Uh, maybe not that one, but that one. <laughs> People live in small communities yes. that yeah, look at it. rely on each other. This looks so nice. Like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find I'd get these like framed and put them like before. big in the living room and make it because and it looks like art or whatever. Exploration. And here's the Regis. For you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. What's with them big fruit? A certain person. We gonna get kicked out of. We gotta get kicked out of uh, uh, heaven for the, eating them fruits. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard-swept fields and even deep inside Pokemon the dens, like jumpsuit which look. You only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex. <laughs> The legendary Pokemon yeah. you'll discover during your adventure. It's like a deer or something. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized by its graceful... What is going on? Get ready to experience... What the Digimon Triforce is happening in the middle of that of thing? Calyrex. The Crown Tundra will have a new form co -op. of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Cool. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games dynamaxing before your eyes. My word. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Look at all of them. Your adventures in the crowd all of my boys are here. Including my sweet, sweet children. Through this co-op play. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokemon are New Reggies and new, new versions of the birds. And combined with the Isle of Armor, Dozens of new so many new outfits. We can dress just like the bad guy. Plus, there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the. Crown we gotta get sponsors. Yes, clearly. Details of everything, but we're working on. You could. New ways you could make this just last like an hour and a half. I still got time before work. Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in give me more. Maps, Don't more give me a new Pokemon next year. Just give me another expansion pass. Move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. There will be it's got a new wild area. As well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously <coughs> appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the wild area. We'll okay. More information okay. About in okay. I got so much more to play now. In June, I have so much more to play in June. What did you think? Cool. We at Game Freak show me Gale of Darkness. Bring you new content, so you can spend more time having fun in the Galar region. We hope you're as excited as we are. For yeah, what's pretty excited, Mr. Guy. All right, he's saying bye. That's not okay. Good. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor, and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokémon that didn't appear in the Galar region before. There will be more than 200 Pokémon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokémon mentioned before. That puts us up to six. Additionally, we'll be distributing free updates for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. That puts us up to 600. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Look Armor. Look at this. Good Crown guys. Tundra. Good guys game freak. Such as trading. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their game from the cloud server. That's what I expected. Home. As long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion packs. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February okay. 2020. That's the news I was expecting this to all be about. We to release even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. I just need to throw my living decks from Go into that. Sword and Pokemon Shield players. 
Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, okay. Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. Yeah. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara, while in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your Fire team. Water? Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. There's two! Don't forget to check it out. What did you think? Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. Yeah. Looks good. We hope we've been able to get Keep you excited up. for the continuing adventures waiting for you. We're over the 20 minute mark. And the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different <coughs> We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future! My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, okay. which contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, both? will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop later today. <coughs> 30 bucks. You'll also be able to access Nintendo eShop directly from the hey, look at that. and Pokemon Shield menu once you install the latest update. Can I take away the ticker on the side of my game? Bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used starting today. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. That's it. That's the end. Well, all right then. We got a fighty bear and we got a weird deer thing. Um, no, but realistically, that, that does look good. I'm glad they've uh, decided to... Even if it is a drip feed, slowly add the other Pokemon back. Uh, especially since they didn't do like a like legendary trio or like an overall legendary in the game. Um, we're getting new Regis, so maybe we'll count that. You know. Depending on if they're one and done catches or not. Uh... I'm excited about that. I, I think that that'll be good for the game. Because, like, the game itself is good. There's no doubt about it. Like, you can't... You can't have played through it and not believe it's not good. Um, um, just kind of... I'm hoping that they do another one after... Another season pass after this. Because they absolutely could, and it would absolutely make Buku money. And there's no reason for them not to. Still waiting on that uh, Coliseum Gale of Darkness port to the Switch. That's all I'm waiting on, guys. Pokemon. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, no, but um, that's that's not going to happen. I'm glad we're getting new Mystery Dungeon. That's good. I was expecting a lot more about home and um, whatever that other one is. Sleep. That's what it is. The thing that I need. Um... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and end that end that here because like I don't feel any need to look anything up. No information's gonna be out for a couple hours anyway, so um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time Nintendo does one of these or next time the stream happens. See y'all later. Bye bye.